Shut the f up. Hey guys, this is called Gaming back with another tip video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the uh, how to be a pro player in Black Ops 3. And this will be a 5 tip video. And with that being said, let's just move to the, our first tip. And it's gonna be like play to your class setup. Okay, guys, playing to your class setup is very very crucial because many players who started out playing Call of Duty struggle you know literally struggle to understand how important it is to play to the class to play to the setup you have selected for your character okay if you're running an SMG class you want to position yourself in areas of the map which have advantages for it okay like if you're using an smg for long ranges it's not gonna work like that okay uh, maybe the other person has some sniper rifle or assault rifle he's, he's definitely gonna kill you if you're using a whisper you have to be like in close combat and stuff you have to find the map you have to just explore the map for areas like where you can have close combat okay guys so this was my first week, the first step, and uh, let's move to the other tip, like the second tip. Second tip will be like use your mini map. Using your mini map is very important. Okay, it's the most important aspect of the Call of Duty. Not only in the competitive environment, but also in the public matches. Like using your mini map is essential. Okay, like uh, you need to consider the areas. You need to know where the people are where the other where the opponents are okay whenever some other player shoots he is gonna be blinked like a red light in the minimap and you get to know where he is and you can prepare yourself for a gunfight okay and uh, it is very difficult if you don't use your minimap because everything is gonna be a surprise for you okay guys and uh, using your minimap like if you're in a inside a hard point as an SMG player or holding an anchor in like AR okay being being able to predict when and where the enemy is coming from okay from is very crucial for you so because you're gonna if you know where the enemy is coming from you're gonna be prepared and kill him before he will get to know Hey guys, this will be my second tip, and let's move to the third one. And this one is like, like ninety percent of the players don't use this tip. But if you do, if you do use this tip, you you're definitely gonna improve your gameplay a lot. Okay, I've seen a, this tip is like, don't overuse your abilities. Okay, guys, because I've seen a lot of players jumping around in Black Ops Three without you know without any reason they jump around and use all of their thrusters and when they get into a gunfight they don't have thrusters they they can't evade the you know the bullets and they, they end up dying so you have to use your um, thrusters your abilities at the time they're needed just don't use them unnecessarily if you use them at the time they're needed you will be at a great advantage of winning the gunfight okay so let's move to, move on to the fourth step and it is it is like a team like uh, you should play for a team okay learning how to use your teammates to your advantage is very very important like it is the most important aspect of being successful or a failure in a match but some people you know they don't understand it they just want to do they just try to do everything all by themselves like if you're breaking a hard point or capturing an uplink or rushing to a bomb site you cannot make these type of gameplays alone you can you nobody can okay because if you just run into things and um, like you're running to capture an uplink, you're gonna be and you're alone, you're gonna be outnumbered and you're gonna be killed like in a fraction of a second. 
so you should what you what you should do is be patient wait for a teammate and push together in order to give your team the best chance of being in control okay so now let's move on to the fifth step and it's gonna be like communicate and listen communication is very very important don't stop talking everything you can give to your teammates is like a bonus to them even the smallest of details like I'm over here and I'm getting killed or I'm in a gunfight or something like that it keeps the morale of your teammates up and uh, when everyone is quiet it can have the opposite effect on morale okay it's my my personal opinion it may differ from play to play but I think communication is must and you should also listen to your teammates as uh, many players get struggle to actually listen to what their team is saying when they're playing this can be a particular problem in like LAN environment you should open your NAT uh, so that you can listen to each and every you know play of your team and get each and every information on the match and also I don't mean like what do you say, like blah blah speaking the speaking should be like the talking you're doing should be like very important don't speak rubbish you don't want to be screaming call out in 1v1 match okay so guys if you did find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button let's see if we can break the barrier of like 30 or 50 likes and uh, please guys do subscribe for more and more quality content and uh, more and more tips and videos coming like two or three days every two or three days Hey guys, I hope you enjoy it and this was called Gaming signing out.